Isn't it great when you have an entire life to live? Maybe it seems like you're getting lost on the way, but intuition guides you. Nothing else matters but doing the journey, rather than knowing where you go. Two scrunchies on my wrists. I've been looking for these all day. Are you playing games with me? What are you looking at? <laughs> Let's begin then. <laughs> Joseph? What are you doing? What, what do you mean? Oh, for fuck's sake, you're still in bed, aren't you? You're supposed to be here 20 minutes ago. Fuck. Yeah, fuck. Shit. Are they mad? Yeah. No, I don't know. They're waiting for you. Okay. Get your ass right here, right now. Okay. And don't forget the disc.
her pool. I could live there, right there, just in her pool. Did you see her kitchen? Did you see her rings? Did you see her car? Which one? <laughs> <laughs> it was insane. Hey guys. Hey, did you manage to get rid of that old thing? Yeah, I went to this lady's house. Well, mansion. It was huge. Three of the most ginormous living rooms you can imagine with this concert piano in the middle. No way. Why would she want your old organ then? Mm, bloody collectionist. She'll do it up and then sell it for ten times the original price. Bloody pimps. Anyway, I've got to go. Um, do you fancy a jam later? Yeah, sure. Cool. See you guys later. See you later. I can just freeze this moment. And do nothing but chill? No. I want to be happy. You're always happy. Am I? What do you need? I just feel like I've been asleep for a long time and that I've just woken up. I mean, don't get me wrong, I like it here, but it's not going to take me anywhere, is it? Well, not to a massive island in the middle of a pool, anyway. You've not been here that long. True, but that's how I feel. I need to go. There's nothing scary here anymore. Scary? Why do you want to be scared? I just want to feel alive. And you're already alive. Well, I felt like a zombie recently. Well, what do you want to do? I want to go to London. You can't let go of the city, can you? It's a city that can't let go of me, and I want to be a filmmaker. I know. And I'm scared, because I, I don't know what's going to happen. But I've wanted it. I've wanted it my entire life, and I know it will be hard and unknown and scary, but it's what I want. And I want to meet Danny. Danny Boyle. Then he can be the pain in your neck. My fingers are crossed for it. Well, you know what they say. Everybody's like two phone calls away from everyone else in the world, so until then, carpe diem, eh? Hmm. In the meantime, why is it that people do so many things they don't like and like so many things they don't do? Because life is harsh. Harsh, my harsh. <laughs> well, this place isn't so bad. Let's get out of here. Yeah, that exactly. Hey, don't you have a place to go to? Boo. Nice day, huh? Yeah. Do you live here? Mm-hmm. I'm just down visiting a friend. He's renting a flat down at the beach. Huge place. Having a party later. Wanna come? I'm so sorry that I'm late. We were just about to leave. Had it not been for your friend over here, Mr. Boyle's insistence, we would have dismissed you. I really appreciate you waiting for me. I'm sorry, there was no excuse. Have you brought everything we asked you to bring here? Yes, sir. Mr. Boyle's in his office waiting for you. Thank you, sir. My wife told me how pleased she is with the organ that you sold to us at our summer house. Oh my god! I didn't know that was your house! Well, you do now. Can I see what you brought? Of course. Thank you. Isn't it great when you have an entire life to live?
for this video. Oh my god! <laughs> Welcome aboard, Adriana. Welcome aboard. Nothing else matters but doing the journey rather than knowing where you go. But what happens when you actually know where you go? I'll let you know. Mm -hmm.